Let's construct a congruent angle. I have angle X, Y, Z. It's a fairly large angle. The first thing I need to do is give myself a nice straight ray to work from. So I'm going to use my straight edge. I'm just going to give myself a nice ray. Okay, so we made ourselves a nice ray to work from. This could also be like our endpoint Y here. I'm going to take my compass and I need to start from Y, open the compass a comfortable amount, and draw a nice arc through both rays. Now I'm going to keep the same compass setting. It's really important that I not change that. I'm going to come down here, put my compass point on my new Y, and I need to make an arc that's visibly larger than the other one. See how much bigger that is? Now what I'm going to do is use my compass as a measuring tool and I'm going to measure this arc inside the two rays. So I need to really be careful about adjusting my compass and see how I make that nice construction mark there. Well, I'm going to come down from this point of intersection. I'm going to make a similar construction mark and now this piece of arc and this piece of arc should be the same length. What that means is when I use my straight edge and my writing utensil going through this point, through the point of intersection, I have now created an angle here who is congruent to this angle here. And since this is angle XYZ, I could also call this angle XYZ because they are the same size. They are congruent.